Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is my Poshmark sales report. Now this will report only on everything that sells other than jewelry. So if you still wanna see things that I sell that are not jewelry connected, I will keep producing these videos. If you give me a thumbs up or a comment there and let me know, otherwise I'll just do the jewelry. But this is a pair of leather shorts made by Fossil. And uh, these I picked up at the Salvation Army for about $5. And I had them in my inventory for way too long, so I was glad they sold for $20. Here's some Lou Casey boots that I picked up for $7. They were marked 10 but I get a discount. And those sold for $125. I did have those listed for $200. I was offered $100, but I countered at $125. So I still made a really nice profit with those. And... Um, Again, these boots are handmade here in Texas, hand-stitched, so they uh, always garner good money. If you see them at a garage sale or anything, please, please pick them up. They will always make you no less than $80, and um, so that was a really good flip for me. I really I really wish they would have fit me, though. These were ladies' boots, and they were a five and a half, and I really love them. All right, here is a tennis skirt that I couldn't get pictured very well there, but this sold for $50. It is by Stella McCartney, and it is an Adidas collaboration there with, um, with Stella. She's a high-end designer, and so I thought that was a really good deal. Now, these little tennis skirts and athletic wear is a lot cheaper at the Goodwill. I think I paid two for it. Here is a bundle, and actually I shouldn't say a bundle but a because it was not bundled. It's a lot of two Victoria's Secret bras. That's how I'm selling these bras. They're in very good condition. They were given to me to um, just to sell, and um, they were given to me by my daughter. So they're pretty much free, and those sold for $18, and I still have tons more to sell, so they're really pretty. And they're moving at that price. I know I could probably hold out and get $20 for each, but I really want to move the inventory. I don't want to hold on to it you know, to make $5 more or whatnot. So I'm just glad to move it. Here's a really pretty gauzy shirt. It had a really rich embellishment there at the top. It is um, kind of like rosettes that are sewn on the top. That is by Ivory and Ivy, Ivy Green or something like that. It'll show the label in just a minute. And that sold for, that sold for $14. So that was a good deal. I really... I really think that was a good deal for the buyer. I like I said, some of these price points on clothing for me is between two and three dollars. Sometimes I luck out and get things for seventy-five percent off. That's usually what I'm looking for, so that I can get them for pretty much a dollar seventy-five. Because I never know exactly what my price point will be. And that again was by I think Ivy and Green or something like that. I don't know if it's a good brand, but it's sold. Okay, and then I sold this toddler, well, 18 months. It's a Ralph Lauren long sleeve polo white, and that sold for $10. I actually wanted to give that to my grandson, but I think it's going to be too small for him, so I went ahead and sold it, and um, it was in very good condition with children's clothes. I do only the high-end designer or the more higher-end labels because they just don't really move for me unless they are a higher-end designer. So I just don't think it's worth it for me to, unless I had a huge lot of kids clothes or something, but even then I just really stick with those, you know, um, higher end designer brands. Okay. And then here's some shoes. These are by Charles David and those sold for 30, no, those sold for $19. They were pointed toe, all leather. And uh, that's the funny thing about those pointed toes, guys. A lot of thing, times we think they're out of style, but they really aren't. People stick to what they like, and so those definitely did sell. Be sure and picture the soles and the heels on your shoes. This is an Ali Tahari blush colored dress, and again, I had to crop the pictures for this video. I do picture them in square mode so they come out nice on the app but that sold for $39 and that's a linen dress 100% linen it was actually new with a little tag I think it had a remnant of a tag or the full tag so that was a pretty good deal and again the dresses have been gone down in price so I get them for now I get them for about five dollars they've gone down it in price here is a bundle that someone put together and I'm showing you the necklace even though I already showed it to you in my jewelry just sold jewelry sales just sold just jewelry this was bundled with this little LA crop top and that sold for I believe $20 so that was pretty much given because I only paid a dollar for that shirt okay yeah I paid a dollar for that LA shirt because it was from a Plato's closet clear out here's a gorgeous peacock motif silk and velvet 
absolutely gorgeous blouse. It sold for $35. I had it a little bit higher, but I kept reducing it it and it finally sold it actually sold to a mutual subscriber she's actually a youtuber that i started watching years ago she's fabulous but she hasn't been very active on youtube lately she's kind of taken to instagram because she's a true fashionista in every sense of the word and no one looks as good as she does in clothing she's amazing and she did quite a few pictures of this outfit of this blouse with her beautiful outfit that she put together on instagram it's really wonderful here's an accessory that sold it is a genuine chanel sunglass case that sold for 57 dollars. my sister gave me the glasses actually sunglasses beautiful brown quilted glasses from chanel but i knew i would not carry this big case it's too bulky it's too heavy so i decided to go ahead and part with it yeah i decided to part with it there it is made in italy it came in a box it was just absolutely gorgeous because i just don't like the bulk in my purses it really adds to the weight and I just hated to just see it in a drawer when I knew people were selling them for over $50. And people kept lowballing me, but I had to decline because I knew it was worth a lot more than what they were asking. Here's a beautiful bundle someone put together. It has four bags, starting with this little Brighton Messenger, tiny little thing, really pretty, new with tags, and then an Elliot Lucas oversized shopper, snake skin, kind of a suede feel to it though. Really pretty, really pristine on the inside as well. These bags range between a dollar to four dollars when I pick them up, unless it happens to be, you know, a bigger name, but usually that's what I pay for the handbags. Maybe I'll go as high as 10 on some, or, you know, like I said, 20 maybe if it's a designer, but usually the average price on these Goodwill bags that I pick up, Goodwill, thrift stores, whatnot, is around, I try to stay in the $5 range. And that bundle was $110. It was four bags. And here's the other bag. This is a gorgeous DKNY. And I got this on eBay. Yeah, I got this on eBay quite a few years ago, probably seven years ago. And I used it every summer. I loved it. It has mesh. I think I paid 30, but she had it tagged when I bought it on eBay. She had it tagged originally $150 or $190, something like that. It's just beautiful. And it's really, really big, perfect for the beach or for, you know, just to carry all your stuff. <laughs> the fourth bag is the Kipling Messenger. Again, this one probably cost me about 4 or $5. It was in very good condition, pretty much new. So I definitely showed that off. There's the label there and lauded all of that about it. But there was one problem, and that's that it did not have the monkey. This little bag, the Kipling has their their logo is a little monkey so you get a little kind of like, like a little tiny keychain kind of a plush and it was missing so i had to reduce it a little bit and then i went ahead and sold in that bundle anyway this is a top by ryu i'm not sure how to pronounce that ryu and that sold for 30 beautiful billowy ethereal i mean just gorgeous i really really loved it and i let that go for 30 dollars she got a really good buy on it of course i tried to picture it in all its glory, it had all of these elements of different textures and fabric and, and needlework. So I had to picture that as best that I could. Look at that gorgeous, look at that gorgeous, um, what do you call it? The bodice there is absolutely beautiful. I love it. And uh, guys, I hope you excuse all of the in and outs of this recording. For some reason, my voiceover is doing chaotic things here on this phone, but I'm trying my best to get it to you. And um, yeah, so that's just some of the, oh, here's a fabulous thing that I acquired my entire, well, the entire closet that, of my nephews after he moved out. And I sold that for $66. This is the Houston Rockets Olajuwon jersey. And I think I paid him $400 for the closet, quite a few Nike and Adidas shoes, and I'm still selling them. And I finally made my money back. Everything now is nice and gravy profit. So happy to report that. Okay, these are some really pretty shoes. I believe these are by Clark's and those sold for $33. They have a T-strap. They have kind of a medium heel. I had those on eBay as well, but they sold here first. And they actually did sell on eBay. I had to cancel. Who did I cancel? I think I canceled eBay's. Yeah, they sold on eBay as well. All right, here is a really pretty silk skirt. It is kind of a peasant ruffle at the bottom. 100% silk, like I said, but it's also trimmed in velvet. And I had given this to my daughter. And she gave it back about a year later. She said she had gotten tired of it. So we sold that for $15, I believe, is what that sold for. And uh, there's the brand there. I think it's Old Dilly or something like that. 
I see this brand advert. Oh, it didn't show up. Yeah, it's Odili. Another bag that sold for, what was this one? $57, and it was Latico, L-A-T-I-C-O. Um, absolutely beautiful. I, that one kind of fooled me till I touched it. I didn't think it was leather, but it was. Okay, $56 is what that sold for. Really pretty. I also like to picture, like, the pockets. I'll have my daughter model it for me, have her put her hand in the pocket so people can see what it looks like. When you wear this purse, it's really hard to, uh, Photography is very tricky, so I always try to take advantage of that if I can, and when she's in a good mood, I'll get her to do that for me. <laughs> but that's a brand also that I had to look up. I hadn't heard of it, but I touched the, the bag, and it felt like high quality, so we picked okay. that up. All right, here's another one we picked up. This is uh, James Purse that sold for $16, and that is uh, P-E-R-S-E, -E, James Purse, a very high-end brand as well, and plain as can be, but they sell for very high dollar, and um, I think I had it a little bit higher, but I let it go at 16 Here's an interesting one. You know how I love my flag motifs? Well, I had this little sweatshirt in my closet for probably 10 years. I love it. I used to wear it with my scrubs when I was uh, doing the work as an autism therapist, and I, my scrubs were blue, so I would wear that over it. I wore the heck out of it, but I still managed to sell that for, I believe, $16, something like that. Yeah, I think it was $16. Sorry. I think I wrote it wrong, but it was about $16. All right, here was the creme de la creme right here. You saw me haul this. I picked it up for $25. 20 to 25 I think they had it for $25, but with my discount, I got it for $20. Well, that sold for $325, and I did have it for $3.99. She did not offer me a lower price. I actually lowered the price. I started lowering the price when it had been up there about a month. This was absolutely authentic Fendi. I, I authenticated it in many ways. I looked at the it had the hologram, the serial number on the inside, the quality of the piece. I mean, it just exuded quality. So that was a fabulous, fabulous find. They did have that behind the counter. They often have the designer things behind the counter. So I was super, super happy to find that one. I wanted to keep it, but pink is not something I'm going to wear all the time. And when you've got money facing <laughs> You know, the choice between making $300 on it, I had to go with that. And uh, she left me some fabulous feedback and said it was now her very favorite purse. And like I said, she didn't even offer for it. She just took it. All right, guys, that's the end of my sales. I hope you come back for my Just Jewelry Just Sold videos, which also will include nothing but jewelry. Please come back again really soon. I appreciate you very much.